Hey, it's Sophie from Sales Girl Thoughts. Sal from Chrome Yellow. And we're back with another review. And this time, we are reviewing I, Tanya. We both saw it at AFI. And I really, really loved it. So this one's about, you know, Tanya Harding. She was uh, an Olympic skater. It's her, it's her road to the Olympics. And basically, there's this whole scandal where her husband at the time had hired some people to um, injure, like, one of her competitors. So this was, like, a big deal. But, I, I mean, I was a kid when it happened. Yeah. And also, what's interesting is this is before internet. So it's not, like... All the details of it where like if this had happened now you would know every single little yeah. thing about it but at the time it's like you only get what's on the news which is also one of the smarter things about the movie so basically it's um kind of chronicling her road to the olympics everything that happened up to then but it's done through this kind of like faux doc style where it takes tanya harding her mother's character Lavana, yeah and her husband jeff it's faux interviews with them um I think post post so like years later and they're remembering what everything that happened but the thing yeah. is is their stories conflict at times and so you kind of have to by nature you sift through mm -hmm. each person's different perspective mm -hmm. of the events and what happened and you're trying to find truth through kind of like a, a weird fiction so it's kind of cool because it's not a generic biopic yeah. where it's just from the, when they're a kid to an adult and all this stuff, it's like non-linear. It, yeah, it goes back and forth. It, the editing is like every, kind of playing with yeah. it, you know, playing with your expectation, and and even they break the fourth wall. But I think the cool thing about the movie is that it's not just necessarily about her, but it's in general our relationship with celebrity mm -hmm. and how um, we as a culture love. Um, you know we love celebrating underdog stories but we like even more the idea of kind of kicking somebody when they're down and so this movie is pretty much at its heart about that it's like hero and celebrity worship and and our obsession with both i guess <laughs> yeah i mean right off the bat the editing the way it's filmed the formats how everyone is telling their own individual stories that that's what makes the film so special i think afterwards i was talking to you and i was like i wish we knew her more but mm -hmm. i think because it's in this format you only get to see what people got people got to see back then in a way yeah. i don't know i think overall like i felt as funny as this movie is because there's a lot of hilarious moments i felt really really sad because this is such a tragic story about a girl who grew up like white trash and she kind of got put in very shitty situations and then ended up in a shittier situation and had to risk her whole dream because of her circumstances and i i just think it's a really great and heartfelt portrayal of tanya mm -hmm. even though i'm sure she still like had a lot of enemies and i'm sure <laughs> she still did a lot of things wrong but uh just to see this film i, I felt like i knew her a little bit better mm -hmm. than i would have like how <clears throat> the media is they only show you what they want to show you and uh sensationalize it and especially with the scandal as big as this especially with the Olympics. It's very timely. I think also um, going back to what you were saying about how, you know, it's about beyond the headlines. Mm -hmm. And so I think even today, see, when this when this story happened, it's like you didn't have Internet. So a story like this really stayed in the public consciousness for yeah. a while, for weeks at a time. And I think now something when something happens um, it goes viral, it's big for like a yeah. day, it becomes a meme, and then it dies. Yeah, it dies. And so like, it's... it's you may like... have a chance to actually speak <clears throat> for yourself on your own platform, that can happen, but back then, she really didn't have any place to turn to to, to speak no for her... social networks. Yeah, to speak for herself. Even when she went up, she went to court, it, mm -hmm. there wasn't a moment where she could really explain. It's more of like a yes or no question, the way the court system is. Margaret Robbie, I guess, she's so freaking young. I guess she was sick of not being able to see a lot of great female roles. And so she created her own production company and produced I, Tanya, which is amazing. So she's also a producer on this. I, I'm pretty sure Allison Janney 
is gonna win an Oscar for being a bitch mother. <laughs> like she's really good. She's so good, but <laughs> I hated her so much because she was so incredibly mean. Um, especially Sebastian Stan. He was really good. He too. scared me so much. It's just oh god. He's in the Marvel movie. Yeah, Winter Soldier. He's and it, in yeah. And in this, he's not a very nice guy at all. And I didn't think. <laughs> I would ever see that side of Sebastian Stan. Stan, because also he looks so nice. Yeah. He looks so freaking nice. Of course, Mar Margot Robbie is so brilliant. Yeah, she's amazing too. And, and I think it's a tricky balance that they have. It's like, because they want you to... Um, it's kind of like you... They're not saying that any of these people are innocent, yeah. but at the same time, it really kind of like makes you sympathize with mm -hmm. them in a weird way, which I think is... Um, interesting and I think it's important in this day and age that you realize that um, there's more to a headline yeah. than just a few buzzworthy yeah. words you know there's like people's lives yeah you know are unfolding and so it's like I think it's cool that a movie like this kind of addresses that we really loved it please go see it when it comes out I hope it goes to the Oscars and I hope Tanya Harding gets invited I guess after the scandal she basically could not ever skate ever again yeah she was like banned for life for life <sighs> pretty brutal that's so brutal anyways thank you so much for watching slash listening be sure to check out sal's website chromeyellow.com yep and we'll be back with more reviews thank you thank you